Oh yeah, webheads, it's a new year, which means new beginnings, which also means the start of another year of top 10 comic book covers. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you 2021's top 10 comic book covers. Fans, this is week number one, and this is the interactive video series where you, the fans, get to vote on which is your favorite comic book cover of the week based on the top 10 I provide for you. And that's not it, guys. After each and every eight weeks we have a group voting and then we find out to see which comic book gets nominated for comic book cover of the year and then after six groups we will have six nominees and yes by the time we get to that end of the year you will also have the final say on which comic book cover gets that all important title of comic book cover of the year so this is a year round commitment hopefully you guys are in for it for the long haul and you will enjoy this series especially if you're new to the channel veterans of this channel will have a blast so i'll kind of explain the rules as we go and guys let's get started with this week's countdown kicking it off with number 10 and number 10 goes to thor issue 11 this is the j and cleto variant a this cover is really nice as it looks like it shows Hela on the cover and then we have this wolf on there and there's this skeleton and there's this trees and she's holding this sword and there's like all kinds of colors in there. This is a really nice looking cover. The only reason why I got kind of number 10 on my list was because it's just it, there's a little bit almost too much going on but nevertheless it's really nice and I had a tough time deciding should the Thor main cover get at number 10 or should this one but i felt that fans would appreciate looking at the artwork in this cover so that's why it got the edge over the main cover so if you want to see this win comic book cover of the week and move on to that next round make sure you vote in the comments below and remember only one vote per person and if you thumbs up someone else's vote that's not gonna count you have to put it in the comments below Oh yeah, and just a reminder if you're new to this series, if you don't like any of these top 10 comic book covers that I provide for you, you can write in your own answer. That one could start to trend and overtake the other top 10. So just letting you know you could do that as well. All right, next, moving on to number nine, we have Future State, the next Batman. This is issue one, the Ken Lashley variant B. So this is a pretty cool cover because obviously we get to see the new Batman on there in Future State. And I, I forgot, it's a fox. I forgot the dude's name. And then we got to kind of get to see like Bruce Wayne, you know, in the background, like he's always going to be there, you know. You get, of course, in every Batman title, you get to see all these different types of bats and stuff like that flying around. You see Gotham in the background, Moonlight, you know, really nice looking cover. So if this one is your favorite, make sure you put it in the comments below. All right, next, moving on to number eight. This is another Future State book. This is the Flash. This is issue one. This is the Care Andrews uh, cardstock variant. This is a really nice looking cover as well. Uh, you just get to see like this evil version of Wally West. And he's like all skinny and deformed. It's like the speed force has like withered him away. But then you get to see like these other like terrified versions of Wally as well. It's like he's got like split personalities or something. Maybe the speed force is splitting him up. I, I, I don't know. No, but uh, it just very looks like he's very psychotic and crazy. So I really like the way this cover looks. So if this one is your favorite, webheads, make sure you vote in the comments below. And remember, these are new comic books that are coming out for January 6th. So in case you want to pick up some of these comic book covers. All right, next, moving on to number seven and number seven this week goes to hellions this is issue eight this is the j and and variant a this one is pretty cool um 
Longtime watchers of my channel may know that I love the comic book covers with some kind of character sitting on a throne. Well, this time around, we have Psylocke who's sitting on the throne, and next to her is uh, Mr. Sinister, which looks really awesome, and he's got this big-ass sword on his shoulder. Uh, I love the look that's on Psylocke's face, and obviously, Psylocke is kind of at the will of Mr. Sinister. If you guys are reading Hellions right now, really nice looking cover if this one is your favorite guys make sure you vote all right next coming in at number six we have a new series that's getting ready to come out this is eternals this is issue one this is the one in 50 boss logic variant now there's about 50 covers coming out of this book and it took me a long time to find one and i thought this one was probably like the most realistic to me that I would love to see in some like Marvel movie or something, right? We get to see a uh, celestial here and he has his hand open and he has this character in the palm of his hand. I don't know who it is. I don't know Jack when it comes to Eternals, but I know the Celestial looks really cool and he's in space and, you know, it's like the asteroids are hitting him and everything and it's just, it's awesome, man. I, I just love seeing the gargantuan size of a Celestial and how small a human is compared to one. I love seeing that and co the cosmic space behind it looks great. So really nice looking cover. If this one is your favorite, let's make sure you vote. All right, so coming in in the top five now, we go into Symbiote Spider-Man. This is Marvel Tales issue one. This is done. This is a one in 50 in Huck Lee Virgin variant. They make the other one where it has the logo of Symbiote Spider-Man on there, and it also says Marvel Tales. Both are nice looking covers, but this is something that it could be in a poster, right? This could hang up right back here. Um, this is so nice. I love seeing the half and half between the classic spider-man suit you know the blue and the red and then the next suit that was created down the line the symbiotic suit and uh it's just so awesome looking and if you look behind spider-man you get to see the webbing and uh, it's just really cool cover so if this one is your favorite guys let's make sure you vote in the comments below okay so now we're moving on to number four and this one goes to iron man issue five this is the alex ross main cover here alex ross has been doing the covers for this iron man series and the series itself has been getting better i've enjoyed it but the one thing that alex ross does speaking of like cosmic uh he knows how to like put his artwork in this cosmic feel like it's just awesome I, I guess this is Korvac I guess that's who that is and Iron Man is fighting him but you just get to see like the stars and the planets within the character or the villain and the the energy surrounding him it just it looks awesome then the the like the shininess in, uh, in Iron Man's armor really nice looking cover so if this one is your favorite let's make sure you vote in the comments below all right so, coming in into our top three, this is a really nice looking Spidey comic. This is Amazing Spider-Man, issue 56, the Tan variant, Philip Tan variant. This one is awesome. This is, reminds me of old school Spider-Man with the big eyes and everything else, uh, the over-exaggerated uh, anatomy while he's swinging, uh, but he's got huge freaking muscles, but it's just, it's kind of polished, right? And it looks really awesome. Uh, I love it. I think it's so cool. One of my favorite Spider-Man covers of the year. <laughs> in this short year so far. So if this one is your favorite, let's make sure you vote. Okay, so now we're getting close. These two covers could have easily been number one and number two, and probably because I'm biased towards the character, why the number one cover got the number one care, uh, number one spot. But this one is a really nice cover. This goes to Death Metal. This is issue seven. Um, the Marco Mastrazzo variant A, as we get to see, uh, I forgot this version of Batman. That's how it tells you how crappy I am when it comes to the death metal series. Uh, but this version of Batman just looks awesome. He's just got the, uh, uh, the, this, this, the spear of the staff with him, you know, uh, as of death. And, um, you know, you get to see him wearing his tr trench coat jacket, uh, just looks awesome. And just the pants that he's wearing, it's just so detailed. 
called? Is this like the cross version between Lobo and Batman? Like, I don't even know. Um, and he's wearing these the cool gauntlets and just everything about him. The facial expression looks cool. Of course, there's always bats in the background. So yeah, this one looks awesome. So if this one is your favorite, let's make sure you vote. All right, next. So here it is. My number one favorite comic book cover of the week. This one goes to Venom. This is issue 32. This is uh, the Brown Marvel versus Alien variant. So this one is awesome because obviously we're getting aliens involved into the Marvel Universe now. So they're doing all these variant covers for all the different comic books. Now, there was a lot of these alien variants out there. But when it came to these alien variants, this one I felt was the best of the week. And this was one of my favorite covers because I love the realism of Venom here. He looks like an alien creature. Like if you were to see him right in front of you, he almost looks like the movie version, right? And then here we get to see the alien creature and they're butting heads with each other. And it looks like if, if you would want to see this in a comic book, this would be awesome. It's like Venom versus the alien. Who is going to win? Who is going to be the the symbiote or the parasite uh, that takes over the world or whoever it is? I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. It just looks cool. I would love to see this in a battle. Great looking cover. My favorite of the week. So if this one is your favorite, let's make sure you vote in the comments below. So there you guys have it. There are the top 10 comic book covers of the week. Now it's your turn once again to vote in the comment section below. Remember, every vote counts. And next week, I'll bring you week number two and the results of week one. So until next time, guys, remember, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell. And if you like this content, I'll leave you more content right here to check out. And until next time, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.